Somebody who's in trouble, though, is so Fago, man. He dropped two snippets on his Finsta, I think. I'm sorry. I'm not even trying to be a hater. I like safe, so Fago. And, and the, the whole ready. Honestly, the Reddit ain't even that active anymore because everybody just been waiting for music for so long. I feel like he didn't learn his lesson. That for Pink Hearts, the reason that nope, like it didn't do that well is because he waited so long. And he's trying to drop this new EP or something called Plus or whatever it is. Bro, he's taking long to drop that too. It's supposed to be like a five track EP. Y'all got, you, he definitely got five tracks, bro. I, I don't even understand. And it's like an EP don't even have to have like a convoluted rollout. Just, just drop the song. Just put it on Spotify. Like you ain't got to do like 10, 15 K sales. You're not yeet yet. Just, just put it out. He's taking way too long. Like at this point, again, there's just, I can just feel it sometimes. Like I just don't think in all the comment section of this is just be, people being like, we don't care anymore. And like, it's not even just trolls. Cause of course I can look past that. Like Cardi better, young boy better, but nah, man, like people are trying to give him a chance, but like, where did it, and I'm trying to. I'm trying to cipher through, siphon through them. Boys, look at Yeats management and how they're building his brand. Look at so that's what I'm saying. And I'm not trying to say they're doing it bad because I think that he's just like trying to take his time. And I'm sure he's gonna do well in his career. Continuing to be an industry artist similar to like Don Tolliver, as we've said this whole time. But he had the underground on lock. Like he sh he should have taken a different path, in my opinion, at least. Treating this EP like it's an album. Exactly. He's being quiet. He's being rare. I've heard that he just plays GTA all day from like multiple sources. And he probably records music too, but like he just doesn't necessarily. He's not like that active in general. But I'm just saying like for this, for this community, he can't dig himself out of this hole anymore. At least like he's done. He's done for with the actions that he continues to make. Drop music. You see, Yeet is literally like 10x, 10 times bigger than him now. Maybe even more. If Sofago didn't sell, what, like even 5K? And Yeet sold 50 something K with Afterlife? He's more than 10x the size. So if Yeet is that size and still dropping, what? He did, he did Afterlife? He did Life? like uh six months before or however long it was he did or maybe nine months i can't remember and then before that he did two alive geek pack and then before that he did two alive and then before that like six months he did up to me and then 4l or or alive whatever it was like it it when you get bigger you don't have to be more rare if you want the bag in fact just drop the music he's killing his own career He's our new Lil Skies, very, very talented, but just don't drop. Honestly, I think he's more talented than, than Lil Skies. I think Lil Skies definitely had a, uh, he definitely had a talent for making catchy songs and melodies. But even when he does drop, it just comes out kind of eh. We haven't even listened to the snippets though. So again, I always says, all it takes is one song to get back on because if you get a hit, it's like the Lil Mosey thing. Like he had Blueberry Fago on his way out and then all of a sudden that popped off. And I think it went top 10 on Billboard and then it became relevant again, at least for the time being because it blew up on TikTok. Uh, and then, you know, what happened afterwards. But again, I'm telling you, if if uh, if you get a song, people will forget about any allegations you got. Take a look at like even Cardi with his whole you know, brandy situation, but let's check out these snippets. She got 
I like that. Skr, 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 skr. I kind of heard some YSL type elements into it as well. Like, uh, just the, just the way he was saying things, kind of like the muffled, like, I, I don't know how to describe it. It's hard to tell because it was like an LQ snippet, but also again, I'm just not feeling the energy. Like it's, it's nothing crazy. I think, I think if he wants to come back, he really needs to come with something undeniable. Like, again, I'm not even trying to compare him to Yeet always, but Yeet always comes with like a new sound where it's like crazy alien synths or like Benny X got some new type of 8 waste that he's unleashing to the world. And then right afterwards, he starts working with Drake. Why? Because it was such a unique sound like Sofega, like this one. I just don't know if it was really that like it's not bad. Don't get me wrong, but it's kind of like it's kind of regular. It's kind of basic in a way. It's cool, like I'd listen to it, but to be one of the top dogs which he was competing for, and maybe that's not what he's competing for anymore. Maybe he's not trying to be that. Maybe he's just trying to be a low-key artist, make his music, because he's making a good living no matter what. I think he already made a mil, a couple mil from his publishing. Maybe that's the way. Maybe he wants to go to a private island and not talk to social media, and I get it. I get it. I get it. I don't know if it's mid, though. Like it's it's better than mid, but it's just more basic than what he needs. Somebody said Fago needs to stop making his own <laughs> fact. Let the manager manage. Uh unless they're doing it. I don't know. Someone else said like if he stayed in the underground or no no no. no. If he actually dropped the underground would be lit. Yeah, I mean the, the underground is so dead right now. I feel like if Sofago just kept going, like it would be kind of like a back and forth between Yeet and Sofago and then Destroy Lonely and Ken Carson and Summers and they'd all be like kind of going at each other. But since Yeet took over so hard, I feel like everybody kind of got discouraged. Potentially Summers as well. Because he came out of nowhere. He was he was unknown. Like he he was below Slay World when he started associating with them. Wylan introduced them him to them, and then he just bubbled up and passed them like fifty x, hundred x. Like he's so much bigger now. You can't even touch him. They can't even get a feature from him anymore. So all the people who did collab with him, they they better uh, you know start promoting that on their SoundCloud. Anyway, let's check out the second snippet to see if it's any better. I, I can't even that was like what four or five seconds it's hard to even tell but this is more in the slow stuff I wouldn't say it's not it it's just again it's the not the problem but the reason pink hearts didn't really pop off like he probably wanted it to is because it was slower than it's almost like the same situation as summers he dropped his last project and it wasn't what the underground wanted, which is exactly who his fan base is. I actually don't think Sofago has that mainstream audience yet. And I think the underground audience is one of the most valuable to have because they're the ones who are the most enthusiastic. They are the strongest in that if you have their, like Yeet, I keep going back to Yeet. He has the underground on lock. And they stream the hell out of his songs. He might not have as many fans as say, like, I, I name a rapper who's tech, like, who Coil Ray or someone who's like actually bigger than him in like radio or whatever. But he'd be streaming more than them because his fans stream on average more times than the other people where they do it all through promotion. It's all casual listeners. So again, so Fago and Summers. Same situation where they're not giving the fans what they want. Now, I'm not saying they have to because they can they can make whatever music they want. They can release whatever music they want, especially when they have to evolve. And that's their own decision. And that could be good for the long term. But for the short, short term, I feel like it's you want to give both something that you and this happens for me too with YouTube. Like you, you got to do passion projects, things that you know you want to like try and experiment with, while also 
giving the fans what they want. You're not Cardi yet. You're not like Drake where you can, I mean, even Drake, people didn't even like that house project. And he went right back to her loss with the type of music that the ladies like, the, the club bangers. You know what I'm saying? Like not everybody, most people can't just make whatever they want. You got to ease them into it. You got to make them think that they wanted that. But so, so Fago with Pink Hearts made like almost R&B pop music as opposed to After Me, which that's what the fans fell in love with. Summers, it didn't have too much plug and B or like the glow beats and people got pissed. But yeah, it is crazy how Dead the Underground is right now. It's just nobody's really, nobody's really dropping heat. I'm not going to lie. Nobody is uh, progressing the game. Again, everyone got discouraged because, because of Yeet. He just took over. And then no, nobody else is innovating as much as him with the brand, the image, the sound, the producers. It's honestly the producers. Just work with the, just work with fire producers and then that'll influence you to do whatever flow you got on there. Everybody just be rapping on like Yeet beats. Or like the glow beats or the plug and B beats. Somebody got to come up with some other subgenre, and and you'll be good. Producers do be putting on these rappers too. Exactly, producers are the best A and R's. I say that all the time, and that's why they be signing them too. Because the producers they know what sound is next, and they know like what rappers are gonna fit on what type of beats next. Like they're the the producers are like the smart ones. They're they're low key like managers in a way. <laughs>